In this video I will be teaching you 6 different ways to filter an image collection in Google Earth Engine. I will be using Landsat 8 dataset, but in Google Earth Engine the method is pretty much the same for any dataset like Sentinel, Modis etc. Before I start, please subscribe to my channel for short and easy to understand videos on Google Earth Engine. Without further talking let's start. Let's first understand the difference between image and image collection. An image collection is a list of images acquired using a particular sensor, while an image is the single entity of this list. So, in this tutorial I am going to demonstrate six ways of filtering an image collection in Google Earth Engine. Before I begin writing the script I highly suggest to watch my video on compulsory and non-compulsory arguments of a method or function in Google Earth Engine, if you are a beginner. Link available in video description. I will filter the Landsat 8 collection to Tier 1 TOA dataset. If you don't know about the Landsat tiers and data levels please watch my video on Landsat collections and tiers in Google Earth Engine. Remember any dataset that is acquired on hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis is in the form of image collection. Some of these datasets include Landsat's collection, Sentinel's collections, Modis ARD products and collections etc. Details of this dataset is given. These details include the time duration of this image collection. For example when was the first image and last image acquired in this entire collection. The bands, image properties and the code snippet etc. I will copy the code snippet and on the code editor I will create a new variable Landsat 8 collection and paste the code snippet. However, you can directly click on import this image collection too. Next I will create a polygon geometry on map using the geometry tools and call it study area. Now, the most important step is to filter this image collection for our study area and our desired time duration. For that we will use two Google Earth Engine methods, filter date and filter bounds. I will create a new variable and call it my collection. Before I proceed further let me inform you that now we will use some Google Earth Engine methods. I will not discuss every method in detail but will give you the idea. To understand methods and their arguments please watch my video on that. Ok so, after creating the new variable I will write landsat 8 collectionfilter bounds. This is a method to filter an image collection using a geometry. This geometry could be a polygon, pointer feature collection. Details are available in the docs section. Inside this method's argument I will type my study area. Then I will press enter and give few tabs to come to a new line and write filter date method. Remember you don't always have to press enter and give tabs. I am doing it because the code would not be easy to understand in a single line. Also this won't give any errors because this is JavaScript, not Python where each indent and space matters. Nonetheless, the date method requires from and to date in YMD format. These from and to dates are in the form of strings. Let's now print my collection.size method. This method tells the number of images for this particular dataset over the study area and time frame we gave above, using filter bounds and filter date. As you can see when I run the code, on console it shows me number of images to be 46. Let's also print my collection without the size method to see what image tiles are there. On console if you expand this new filtered image collection, you will find all the image tiles and their IDs under the features. You will also find bands and other metadata of the images here. Let's filter the first image from our filtered image collection. For that I will create a new variable first image and will use the dot first method. This method requires an image collection. From our filtered image collection this method will get the first image. Now I will visualize it on map. For that we use the map.addLayer method. Inside the arguments of this method I will write the image. Since this is a multi-band image and to make an RGB composite of it, I will make a new object or dictionary. Inside this dictionary we define the display parameters. To make an RGB composite, I will write bands, and after adding a colon I will create a new list containing band names as strings. Here I will write B4, B3 and B2 corresponding to the RG and B channels. B4 is the red band of Landsat 8, B3 is the green band and B2 is the blue band, together they will make a true composite. If you don't know about true and false composites in remote sensing, I have added a link in video description. Then after closing this object, I will give an another non-compulsory argument which is going to be the layer name. Please watch my video on compulsory and non-compulsory arguments in Google Earth Engine. When I run the code, a cloudy image is displayed which is the first image from our filtered collection. 
I will give it 100% stretch inside the layer properties so that the min and max pixel values are distributed over the range of this image. I will also give it some gamma, and when I click apply the image appears much better. You can also import the visualization parameters by pressing the import button and to replace the object with the image viz params variable. However, I will manually type the min and max range in the object I already created, along with the gamma value. If I print the first image variable, we will find that it is indeed the first image as the ID of this image is the same as the ID of first image in the filtered image collection. The second method to filter the image is by using the image ID. From the filtered image collection of 46 images, I will expand the features and copy the ID of any image. Then using the e.image method, I will paste the image ID inside the argument of this method as a string. I will display the image once again using the same map.addLayer method and give the visualization parameters. The third method to filter an image is by using the mosaic method. This method basically stitches the images in the image collection together. In remote sensing I hope you are familiar with the concept of mosaicing in softwares like Envy, Snap, Imagine etc. Make sure there are at least two or more images in the collection. Remember mosaicing hundreds of images using Google Earth Engine will take time and might give you out of memory error. I will write my collection.mosaic. Then I will display the mosaic image once again using the same map.addLayer method and give the visualization parameters. The fourth method to filter an image collection is by using image collection reducers. Reducers as the name suggests, basically reduces the image collection to one image. Reducers are of various type for example mean, min, max etc. As an example when we apply a mean reducer to an image collection. The mean reducer will compute the arithmetic mean of spectral values of bands of all the images in the collection. The formula is simple, spectral values of bands of the collection, divided by the total number of images, and then return you a single value image. Reducers are helpful to analyze datasets like rainfall, temperature etc. To understand reducers in detail please watch my video on reducers in Google Earth Engine. I will write my collection.mean method, and then display the mean image on map. Let's compute the min and max as well. To compare the mean, min and max of the image collection at pixel level, I will select the band 4 from the mean, min and max images using the select method. Now that the images have a single band only we will use palette instead of bands, bands will give error as first it was composite. Now it's not. Palettes is a list of hexadecimal color codes of your preferred colors. The min and max range will be distributed according to the colors in the palette. I will provide link of hexadecimal color codes in the video description. Nonetheless, if we compare the three reducers, by clicking the inspector tab and clicking anywhere of the images below we will find the min, max and mean values, I selected band 4, only because Earth Engine applies reducer to all the bands of the image collection. For example if there are two images in the collection and both have three bands. The mean, min or max will be computed for all three bands. Let me reiterate reducers are helpful with time series datasets like precipitation and temperature etc. The fifth method to filter a desired type of image is by using the image metadata. For example we want to filter an image that has less than 10% cloud cover or filter an image by satellite row path. All the metadata of any given dataset is given in the dataset description and along with data type. I will write my collection.filter and here inside the filter method I will use another method ee.filter.eq. This method requires two arguments. The metadata property name is string and its value. The eq means equal. So here I am basically saying only filter the images that have 10% cloud cover. Similarly you can use LT, LT, GT, GT, etc. If I print the metadata filtered variable size it shows zero images. I will try with LT this time as there are no images that has 10% cloud cover. Now that it returned 17 images having cloud cover less than 10%, please remember that it is still returned an image collection. Then again we can filter by ID or first image. 
I will filter the first cloud-free image and display it on map. I will also try with 5 and 2% cloud cover. The final way to filter an image from image collection is by using the Lister Array Index Number. Remember Index Number and Image ID are different things. For example I want to filter the 300th image from a collection of 500. Rather than scrolling the entire features on console and copying image ID of desired image, we will directly tell Google Earth Engine hey give me 300th image. Since the image collection Google Earth Engine has are in the form of GeoJSONs first we need to convert it to a list. We will use to list method. Inside the argument we will write convert the size or number of images also known as indexes to a list using the size method. Then to get a desired image by index for example I want 15th image I will use the dot get method and write 15 inside the argument. When I print and compare filtered image with the image collection they both have same ID meaning it is the same image. I will display it on map but it showed error that I will not display an image that is from an array or list. Give me the image not an array index value. To fix that we need to convert this filtered index value to an image using the e.image method. Finally I will display it on map by making a false multiband composite. If you learned something please like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more beginners oriented Google Earth Engine videos. Ask me in comments or by sending an email. Code link given in video description. I will see you in the next one. Peace.